3,000 miners have downed tools at six coal mines in central Queensland. Negotiations between mining unions and BMA, an alliance between BHP and Mitsubishi, are at a stalemate. Last week, more than 80 per cent of the workforce rejected the company's latest offer in a long-running enterprise bargaining dispute. Reporter Marlena Wop is on the line from Blackwater in the Bowen Basin. So, uh, Marlena, how long will the miners be on strike? Well, Roz, they plan on striking for a whole week, and this is the second week-long strike across all BMA mines this year. It's also the fourth major type of industrial action. Uh, previously, there have been rolling stoppages. Now, the three mining unions involved in the talks with BMA are getting increasingly frustrated. They say that the talks are going nowhere. Uh, the CFMEU's Steve Smythe, he actually believes BMA is not acting in good faith. The BHP haven't accepted twice now that uh, the agreement's been voted down. They, they don't want to listen to the solutions we bring forward. They've obviously got another agenda, and um, that agenda isn't in the best interest of our members or their families or the communities, or even our, the both state and national economies. So Marlene, what are the main points of dispute between the two sides? Well, there are 18 in total. Some of them involve uh, rosters and the way that the company imposes rosters on workers. Uh, unions also want a guarantee from BMA that safety officers will remain union members. And there are also calls for equal paying conditions for contract workers. So um, even after 18 months of talks between the parties, there are still those 18 sticking points. Um, BMA in a statement says that it's willing to go back to the negotiating table despite the industrial action. But neither party is really showing any signs of changing their tune and there appears to be no end in sight to this long-running feud, Ross. All right, Marlena, thank you.